It is Scrabs of Morning live from the 2010 CMA Awards in Nashville, Tennessee. We've been having a lot of fun with a lot of guys coming through here, a lot of uh, performers. And, you know, one of my favorite places to eat is the Cracker Barrel. Yeah, I baby. love me some Cracker Barrel, right? I go in there, I, I can't get you know, with the hot apples on top of my, uh, my French toast in there. I go crazy in the Cracker Barrel. One of the things that my wife goes crazy for in the Cracker Barrel is the shopping section of oh, yeah. the Cracker Barrel. But you may have seen these guys on any number of CDs of the Cracker Barrel, and they are also some of the biggest names in bluegrass music as well today. And we're very excited to have daily events with us. Hey guys, thanks so much for being here. Good morning. So the bluegrass world um, is a little different than what it used to be years ago. Yeah. Right now, what? Would, how would you describe you know bluegrass to people today that maybe haven't given bluegrass a shot? Well, the demographics really changed. We got people that come to our concerts, for instance, from 15 years old all the way to, uh, to 100, you know, or 90. Right. And so we got a lot of young people that's coming. Folks don't think that, but it's true. Come and look. Right. You'll see. Uh, so it's changed a lot. Uh, you know, if we're at the 1,000-seat auditorium, uh, you'll see half of the people are 18 to 35 and the rest are age on up, so right. it's really cool to see it change, and the, and the Bluegrass Music Festival in the summer is where you see a lot of young. Oh, yeah. Everybody brings their camp, campers in the camp, uh, you know, their tents and stuff, so it's a lot of fun. Now, you guys were uh, uh, given the award for entertainers of the year for the uh, third time in a row. Third time? I, wow. How long have you guys been doing this now? It's just third year. It's our third year. That's what I wonder, like, we're right out of the box and just... Our, our first year we won Emerging Artist, which we thought that would be it, and then we won Entertainer of the Year the first year. And it's never been done before. We won both Emerging and Entertainer uh, Group of the Year in the same year. Were you guys uh, surprised or shocked? Or? Well, yeah, yeah, really. He, he couldn't speak anything. All he did was get to the podium and cry. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I had I couldn't have found if you told me to find the back door of the rhyme and get out and not play, I played that building three hundred times. I couldn't have found the back door. I was tore up. How do you guys feel about a lot of the, um, the more mainstream artists are turning to bluegrass for their sound right now? And you can hear this more and more like Dirks and a whole bunch of others that are saying, you know what, there's a, there's a lot of uh, roots that we're bringing into our music. Does that help you guys? I, I think it helps bluegrass in general. We're always happy to see you tell the people like that come and, and do a CD. Uh, Joe Diffie just recorded that. Okay. Uh, Ken Mellons. Yeah, I remember Ken Mellons. They, yeah. all, they all have new CDs. And, and I think the thing helps bluegrass in general. Right. Because they've got a fan base and maybe not have heard bluegrass music and like to hear what, what it sounds like. Right. And give it a shot. And if they give that a shot, maybe they'll give Daily and Vincent, somebody they've never heard, and come back and maybe go watch the grass. Yeah. Or my sister in law the bus, or anybody like that. Right. Give everybody a, a shot of listening and becoming new bluegrass fans. That's what it's all about. Getting more fans, more fan base. Right. And then going to Cracker Barrel and buying the CDs. Right? Exactly. <laughs> Daily and Vincent sing the Statler Brothers. That's right. Daily and Vincent sing <laughs> on scripts, <laughs> right? <laughs> give us a line of something that uh, is one of your bigger songs. You just give me, a, you know, real quick. I know that you guys are playing for somebody else. We got food. And it's been time, that's fine too. Do you have something that you can just give me a quick line from one of your songs? Yeah, a little bit. Give me a day. Somebody's playing music. Oh, we live Yeah, she's been out on the road this year. She's really busy. We're all busy. Praise the Lord. 
Well, I'll tell you what, we truly appreciate Daily and Vince's stopping on by being on the show. Enjoy your omelets and hanging out with us. We truly appreciate it. Can I steal a piece of your candy? You can have oh, a yeah, thank you. Can I have your cologne? <laughs> <laughs> That's Tim McGraw's cologne. Oh, oh, excuse me. How dare you? Pardon me, Daily and Vince's stopping on by being on the show.